welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be styling wardrobe basics into expensive chic looking outfits for less you do not have to spend a lot of money for you to look expensive for you to look luxe or for you to look chic so i'm going to be sharing some styling tips on how you can change wardrobe basics into expensive looking outfits that's basic to chic for no money if that interests you then keep on watching if you're new here hello welcome my name is Lorraine and my channel is Lorraine Lux and I share all things curvy fashion affordable luxury lifestyle and also a dash of motherhood so please subscribe to my channel and join a family as you can tell I'm going to be wearing these gold hoop earrings and this gold bangle in the majority of my outfits because I love gold okay gold just adds that extra hint of chic it just adds that luxury and um, there's nothing wrong with silver but but for me personally gold jewelry is just more luxurious and just makes you look expensive without trying it too much okay so the first wardrobe basic that i'm going to be styling is this black turtleneck bodysuit i live and love bodysuits as we all know by now because they're just great for layering they go with anything and they're just absolutely perfect um when you have a turtleneck it just adds that hint of luxury it just elevates your outfit it just adds that hint of effortless chic um, without even trying um, so that's why I absolutely love and recommend that everyone gets this as a wardrobe basic I decided to style this with my matte leather trousers and these are from misguided I have had these in my wardrobe for years I'm so so obsessed with them they have like this zip detail on the bottom at the back which is adds a hint of edge to them they go absolutely well with this black turtleneck because it creates a bit of texture um they're both black but that leather adds a different kind of texture to the outfit you can never go wrong with an all black outfit okay so that's the first thing and the most important thing is the texture so going ahead with adding more texture to the outfit i've gone ahead and added this black faux fur I don't know if it's a shower or collar or whatever you would call it um but I picked this up from Zara I believe a few years ago faux fur again an effortless way of adding a bit of luxury chic and class to your outfit the fact that this is just sitting on my shoulders again is just so effortless and um, if it's not too cold you can just go out wearing this i have added some boots these are the timberland heeled um boots very simple nothing to sort of run home about but as you can tell the whole outfit is black even though i'm adding different textures to the outfit i'm still still maintaining the black color palette which is maintaining the expensive chic looking feel to the outfit but the different textures i think just adds that extra oomph to it okay you can go ahead and add sunglasses listen cheat code this will be the cheat code that you should take away well take away everything from this video but this is the cheeker that i absolutely love i love sunglasses when you put sunglasses on as that kind of finishing touch on your outfit literally it can take your outfit from looking a 7 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 um, especially if they're oversized again everyone has different personal styles if you like the small ones but i love oversized um sunglasses and that's just a perfect finishing touch for this outfit but i'm absolutely loving this outfit we did not have to go out and spend loads and loads of money all we did was maintain a color palette and added a bit of texture to the outfit and voila we've got an expensive looking outfit next piece that i'm going to be styling is this chocolate brown medallion sexy ruched skirt i'm obsessed with this skirt you guys the color i love chocolate as you can tell i've got this chocolate dress on i'm so so obsessed with this color but with also this style because this is a style that just goes perfectly with my body shape and with also my personal style so love 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 so what i've done is i've paired this skirt with this 
turtleneck bodysuit um, from ASOS again in this kind of like light camel color. The thing that also makes this turtleneck a little bit different to the other turtlenecks that I showed you is that this one has thumb holes in it, which all the girls are still loving, okay? It adds a bit of zhuzh to the outfit. It adds a bit of effortless chic to the outfit, okay? Like you're seeing in all my outfits, okay? This is an outfit in itself, okay? We don't need to do too much. We have added two colors here. We've got this kind of like camel, beige, bodysuit and then this chocolate brown skirt that in itself is an outfit i am loving loving this outfit um i've gone ahead and added these locks to kill simple it just it looks like i've spent a whole lot more money and i look more expensive than um, this actually is like i said this bodysuit is from asos and the skirt is from shein so the colors of the outfit and then also the style of the outfit in itself you can can go ahead and add a long trench coat with this outfit as well if you wanted to but just for a different kind of reference I've gone ahead and added a cropped fur coat like i've mentioned previously faux fur in itself is just money honey it just looks like money um this fur crop coat is from top shop it's from a few years ago i am loving it it is a staple in my wardrobe and if you're going on a night out if you're feeling a bit too cold you can go ahead and pair this outfit with this fur crop top just for that additional glamorous feel okay now we're looking like a rich auntie okay now we're looking like we should be coming out from a rolls royce or something or some kind of town car um, just by adding that additional fur on top of this outfit if you want to make sure that your outfits are looking expensive and chic make sure that you are staying in that neutral home or that earth tone home um, in terms of the color palette make sure that they are tasteful that they're not too short they're not distaste distasteful so they can still be feminine still be sexy if you want them to but not too revealing which i have done in this outfit let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this outfit i think this has to be my favorite outfit from the whole um styling video the next wardrobe basic that i styled is this leather midaxi skirt which is absolutely gorgeous if you do not have any kind of leather skirt in your wardrobe you need it if you are a mini skirt kind of girl a midi maxi midaxi or whatever but i love length length definitely makes you look more expensive so instead of going for like a short skirt a mini skirt i would definitely recommend that you go for something that's a little bit longer you can make it form fitted to kind of follow your silhouette and still look sexy but you're still classy and chic with the length okay so this one i picked it up from shein i believe i love this skirt it's got this ruched detailing here on the side and then also um a slit um at the bottom here the slit is not long at all so it's still classy it's not tacky at all the reason i love this skirt is that it's just got a bit of character to it okay you're gonna hear me say that a lot throughout this channel and in, in this video i love wood basics but i just love a hint of character to it okay and a bit of edge to it wearing leather just elevates your outfit i don't know what it is is about leather but there's just something that's just so chic and expensive looking about it okay so i decided to start this leather skirt with my pixie market knit top which again is another statement piece i am obsessed with this top okay it's kind of giving me kate dupe okay because we are not about to spend 980 pounds darling on a top well not yet anyway we've added a bit of texture again here by adding this knit top from the pixie market however the difference with the first outfit and this outfit is that what i usually do is kind of focus an outfit on one statement piece in this outfit i've kind of combined two statement pieces statement knit and then also this leather skirt i've broken up the black by pairing it with these white braided mules which 
is just gorgeous i think these mules were from shein so very very affordable and inexpensive so that just breaks up the all black look kind of going ahead with that i have added this white double breast blazer from zara listen if you want good quality blazer you need to make sure that you're picking up your blazers from zara they are absolutely undefeated when it comes to that great quality blazer i love this blazer it's got these gold detail buttons which just make the blazer look more chic and more expensive than it actually was um i also love the fact that it's a double breast i think it's got a tad bit of shoulder pad shoulder pad detail again elevates your outfit so even though we've added a bit of color to this outfit it is still a neutral color it's still understated and that's what you need to remember for your outfits to look more expensive less is more okay don't try doing too much don't try adding too many things um to your outfits less is definitely more and that's what i've done in this outfit we've, uh, we've got a black and white outfit that's just super chic super classy super stylish and above all just looks expensive i wanted to show you another way of styling um a turtleneck bodysuit so i'm going to be styling this white one um it's from asos it's the same one as as the black one that i showed you previously from asos so for this white turtleneck bodysuit i've gone ahead and paired it with a white medaxi skirt just for that all white outfit which i love okay white white just makes you look instantly expensive instantly like you're that girl okay if you wear an all white outfit you instantly look like money you instantly look like you're that girl okay so i paired it with this midaxi um white skirt from opoly i believe it's double layered so you can literally wear it in all seasons you can wear it in winter as well if you want to i'm obsessed with this outfit just this outfit on its own is just luxe it's just elevated you don't even need to do too much to it i've gone ahead and paired it with these white mules and um, braided mules from shein again maintaining that all white palette but there's just something about white with camel that also makes you look so so expensive so i've gone ahead and added my camel burberry trench coat on top of this um, outfit which has just elevated it even more it does not have to be a designer trench coat girl if you've got any kind of um camel trench coat you can go ahead and pair it with this outfit here i am loving this outfit if you want to add that finishing touch my cheat code of sunglasses as well you can go ahead and do that and just look effortlessly chic like you're not even trying girl so the last wardrobe basic that i've actually styled is this chocolate brown knit dress that i'm wearing right Right now which we're loving i love chocolate brown i love how this looks against my skin tone so this outfit is the one that we actually done the least amount of styling on so that's why i have a lot of knit in my wardrobe a lot of knit dresses in my wardrobe because they need less work knit also elevates an outfit and makes it look more expensive than it actually is which is why i tend to draw a lot towards knit in all seasons really not just in autumn winter so for this dress i literally didn't do too much i paired it with these lux to kill um mules which are stunning and then you can also go ahead and add a trench coat um on top of this you can just drop it on your shoulders you don't actually have to wear it with the dress like this you still want to be able to see and show off your silhouette so if you add a coat or a jacket or even a blazer on top of your shoulders you're still showing off your curves you're still showing off your silhouette and still adding a bit of layering to your outfit as well let me know what you guys think of this knit dress and also how i styled it so that's all the styling tips that i'm going to be sharing in today's video going from basic to chic let me know how you guys enjoyed me turning this wardrobe basics into expensive chic looking outfits for less um without spending any money at all be sure to comment down below and let me know
know which one was your favorite outfit which one was your favorite styling tip which one you're going to be trying i really enjoy filming this kind of videos for you guys so let me know what other styling videos you would like to see from me if you have enjoyed this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up as it really really helps me out and if you come all this way do not click off on this video without subscribing to my channel and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye guys